Hello, hello. <clears throat> My first video uh, got some comments. So that's uh, why, of course, I'm quite happy. And uh, this is, will be a second part. So in the first part, you can check the link is above. We created the columns and the grid. So today I would like to talk about how to make some foundation and the slab of the first floor. Then this is a part of the code and now let's jump into it. Um, so the logic is following. We create this upper part of foundation first, then we make a lower part and then this we can make a slab. Um, so the logic is absolutely the same like a make a column. Uh, that's why actually this part of the code is the same like we made it for column. But uh, we just need to make some adjustments. Um, let me show you. So actually this is how I call. This is H0 which is height of this um, yeah, upper part of the foundation. So I hope for you it will be clear. You just should copy this part of the code in your uh, from the previous lesson. Then this is the points which are uh, the same like the points of the column. And for these points, you just need to make a new slider, right? Which can define the bottom part of this, uh, yeah, kind of, let's say foundation column. And then we can adjust it and yeah, get the result. And um, so what is this object? This object in Tecla is, uh, let me show you why there is no properties. Oh yeah, this is concrete column. So uh, we have this same node. So this is concrete column. You can find it in the Tecla concrete column. And uh, of course, attributes are all the same. I think this is quite clear. Uh, we connect it and by the text field panel so you can arrange a section a face class and so so and so so let's go further then we need to create uh, this path footing this is has a different properties so we see this is a path footing element from the concrete which is right totally different uh, path footing i believe you're aware and for the path footing we still need two points so if you uh, make this component path footing from the grasshopper from the grasshopper somewhere here <clears throat> i think it's also kind of explain you what you should get uh, so you should also put the line, then he create the path footing from the point to point. Uh, and actually the code is the same, absolutely. So you just need to copy the code from this part, have a link this point to this point uh, and make a new unit Z vector, which defines the uh, foot thickness. So it can be also adjusted. All right, um, so and finally, uh, we need to make a slab. So what is a slab? Of course, there is a lot of way to make a slab. Uh, I'm going quite straightforward. So you just need to make, get a four points, one, two, three, four, five. So <clears throat> let me explain the logic uh, from the end actually so we can get a slab component from the grasshopper tecla interface slab is here and we see this is a boundary <clears throat> then we create uh, we should create a boundary in the grasshopper it means in the rhino maybe i can show you um yeah so this is a boundary in grass in in rhino so that's why what is a boundary boundary uh, to make a boundary means is surface you should get some edges which will be closed uh, or maybe it's not really important but then okay 
So we just actually need to make a rectangle according to our, you know, four points. So that's why what we can do. Uh, so we get four points and then link them by the lines. So we link two lines to the geometry and then we can get the boundary. How to get these four points? I think this is really easy. This is a mathematic primary school. We can make this construct point uh, component. Let me show you. Russian language construct point, right? So here we are. We should make it four four times. Then uh, if you don't define any attribute, this is a zero zero zero, which is here. Um, then we should get uh, x, then x y and y. So then uh, you, we need to multiply. So let me show you what you should multiply. But uh, actually, I believe you really understand. You actually need to multiply space x to um, number of the spacing like one, two, three, and the same for y, right? So you multiply space x to x to get a coordinate of x and the same for y. And uh, right, we see this is also all automatically adjusted, like so foundation and the slab, all the same. So <clears throat> we get these coordinates, uh, right? And then we link these coordinates to points, get lines, uh, link them to the one geometry, we put this geometry to the boundary surface, uh, you should click boundary, uh, boundary surface 2D, and then send it to the uh, geometry uh, and property. And the other settings are the same, so this is we define the position of the base plate, uh, not base plate, like a first floor plate, and this attributes, which is thickness and concrete. And um, so we can define the depth. Mm, it's the same settings like in Tecla. And then the depth, uh, it is a good parameter. Sometimes you can adjust it based on the height. Uh, depends on what architect can give you input. So this is quite good. This is a standard slider which is which you link to the depth. And um, okay, then we can get the slab, but you can see we also can cut the slab base uh, by all column footings. So and now this is really the function you can get only in Grasshopper. In Tecla you can do it only manually. So I will hide uh, you actually can see that we have uh, this like cutting geometry in each column footing. Let's hide it, right? We can see that. Um, yeah, this is really important because you can get the exact value of your concrete for this floor, uh, right? Without doing nothing. So uh, we have the component to make it. Uh, this is really easy. Uh, this is edit. Where is it? Part cut. So the first one, the part should be cut, which is floor and the cutting part. It's all our foundation. So you see that we cut our slab uh, with, you know, one action. So because Grasshopper understands that all foundation kind of like one unit for I know for grasshopper for this component and what is also good sometimes it can help you because maybe of course normally you would like to keep the foundation um right of course this is a part of your structure but sometimes if you need to make an opening right you also can make any geometry uh place it whatever you want and then you don't need actually this geometry that's why you can uh, use this function uh, I will show you. So we just make a, a right click and then set boolean means true. That's why we delete a geometry uh, which cut uh, your main geometry. So just click true. And now we see we don't have these elements in our attack. Uh, so this is of course what I don't want to do, but 
uh, oh, okay and probably I need to create the geometry again to update my model in Tecla um, all right exactly so that's it for today uh, ask me any question you have uh, it will motivate me like and subscribe as usual uh, if you would like to know something more special maybe how to create some beams around uh, yeah why not uh, I also don't know for now uh, I can check how it can be done or and then I think third part will be to create uh, beams and bracing and so on so on I we also have now the staircase so this is still on the progress I think it will be somewhere, uh, somewhere in the future. Then I uh, would like to say thanks again and goodbye.